just up there in the depths of our universe lies a galaxy bigger than you could ever imagine. I'm about to capture an image of this galaxy right from my back garden over 2.5 million miles away. Nights like these are a rare occurrence in the UK, so it's crucial I make the most of every clear night sky. This means setting up and preparing becomes even more important, ensuring I maximise the results of every imaging session. I'm putting away the big scope in replacement for my light, small, modest refractor telescope. Tonight I'm setting my target towards the Andromeda Galaxy, a distant deep space object full of stars and nebulae. The Andromeda Galaxy, also known as Messier 31 or M31, has captured the imagination of many amateur and professional astronomers over the years. And that's for good reason. Andromeda is a true giant in our night skies. This spiral galaxy is nearly 2.5 million light years away from Earth. So the light that we're capturing tonight is ancient light, which left the galaxy way over 2 million years ago, long before our species even existed. As I slowly build my telescope, it's crucial that we address the challenging conditions us astrophotographers have to take in the modern day. Light pollution is a massive problem for us. This is when in our towns, cities and villages, light literally pollutes our skies. That's why astronomers, the people that study space, try to find the darkest areas where there is an extra light to pollute the skies. So the light coming from space goes directly into our eyes or cameras. Now the setup I'm using tonight takes in a broad spectrum of light, meaning that the light pollution local to me is going to affect my image. Now there are certain things you can do when imaging the night sky to help combat that light pollution and that's picking a suitable target in the night sky that can point away from the city lights and street lights and car lights and just aiming your telescope away from those light sources can really help produce a better image. Now, while it's getting dark, I'm gonna give you the details on my equipment I'm gonna be working with tonight. Now, because I'm an idiot and I spend way too much money on this hobby, I'm lucky enough to have a few different setups. I've got an ultra wide field setup, a mid range setup, and a real deep space rig setup as well. And tonight I'm taking the middle telescope with 430 millimeters of focal length with an APS-C size camera at the back. And this combination is gonna give me a perfect framing of the Andromeda Galaxy. This Apo refractor has been great over the years and it's been my most used telescope since starting this hobby. And it truly is great at starting astrophotography and even in more advanced astrophotography. Now the telescope will be riding on top of the wonderful EQ6R Pro by Skywatcher. Now this mount is brilliant and it does not surprise me that so many people use it in the astro world and it's really well worth the price. Lastly, the newest addition to my telescope collection is the ZWO. 2600 MC Pro. And I really haven't used this camera much, only for a few wide field targets and testing it here and there. 
So tonight's really delving into this camera and really trying to see what I can get from it using this combination of camera and telescope. But I believe it's going to be really good. The telescope is finally aligned and set up and pointing directly at the massive galaxy Andromeda. I'm going to get guiding going and get the imaging session started and then I'm going to take pictures for as long as possible. Hopefully it stays clear throughout the night and I'm going to aim to try and get around about four hours. Astrophotography is a true test of patience and skill. I dedicated three nights to capture the same piece of sky. And there were moments in the middle of the night where I questioned the purpose. However, when the final image comes to life, the reward of seeing what's out there in deep space becomes clear. <laughs> 